Thanks, Jay. Thanks, everyone, for taking the time to tune in today. So we'll get right into it with the first update being some simplification of role provisioning. And this really is kind of a theme for the first half of what we'll be covering today, which is also most of what I'll be covering. And you'll see what I mean as we cascade through the next few updates. But what has taken place is the way roles are provisioned, especially as it pertains to the identity domain, is being updated. And so those of us that have logged into that admin portal or identity domain know that the predefined roles, such as service administrator, power user, user, and viewer exist. Going forward, anyone who's no, not assigned a role within there is no longer able to be assigned access control groups or even sign into the environment. And so, you know, as part of this, what's actually happening is some other updates throughout the tool to accommodate this change are coming into focus. And so, again, not only will users not assign a predefined role, will be able to log in, but there will not be support for certain EPM automate commands, such as import snapshot. The provisioning report will only now show users who have been assigned these predefined roles, and the migrations will not export folks into that groups.csv if they're not provisioned with predefined roles either. And so as, as your organizations make this transition, there are a number of other updates that can be leveraged in order to accommodate the change. such as a new EPM Automate version. So as we know, EPM Automate is kind of the back-end scripting in order to automate or command line certain functions within your PBCS work environment. And so there's that nice link at this slide, which is, of course, something you can't click on. But if you Google PBCS EPM Automate commands, that will be the link you're looking for for the quick directory of, of commands and functions. And so in this update, there's now some new functions, such as add users assign role, remove users, or unassign role. And these will just help, again, with the management of that predefined role piece of that new entity domain requirement as far as being able to assign groups and users in the access control and so forth. So encourage anyone that needs to automate or look into this to check this out. This will be big if folks have not been assigned predefined roles at all, if they've just been in access control. And you know this is potentially something that, if not handled properly, could lead to users may be unexpectedly not having access. So I would encourage everyone to log in and check their user setup and make sure that they have test users that can still log in prior to that September 21 rollout. Along with that, the REST APIs have been updated to, again, include adding and removing users to the identity domain, accessing and assigning predefined roles, removing roles, and removing users again. So again, as we as we move through the different facets of the tool, we're seeing, again, the automation in the EPM Automate, the API updates. And so as this tool has evolved, Oracle's done a, a fine job of ensuring that, again, all components and modules of the tool are being included and considered as far as these updates go.